brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Past administrations have just let it slide and kicked the can down the road. So now North Korea feels like they can get away with anything. And uh, I'm not really nervous. I'm, I'm pretty confident in our military capability. I guess the first thing that comes to mind is, uh, you know, immediately first, where is my family? You know, to come up with a plan about if anything happens and we're apart. Uh, you know, how, where do we meet and if we're all separated? Well, if it's the United States says they're going to uh, give them a last warning, they should because it's going to keep escalating. And to me, I'm not scared about uh, North Korea coming to, you know, uh, threatening Guam because I'm a retired military and I know how it is. So. We don't have the intelligence uh, data to really know what's going on. And uh, I think I, it appears from just general knowledge, they have not miniaturized their nuclear weapons yet. So to hit Guam, they're going to have to do that. Uh, and I think that we're prepared for, at this point, whatever they can send at us. I don't think North Korea does anything that China doesn't want it to do. I think there's a lot of things that China retaliates and asserts uh, uh, control and power through, and I think North Korea is one of those things. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.